We got one hatchback looking thing on the other side of the boat ramp. Yeah, it's a car, but there's no tags. So we are on location, day one of a whole weekend of searching for cars. And this particular case we're working on now just fell in our lap like, I don't know, yesterday. And essentially the story goes, a young lady by the name of Shannon Taylor, she was suspected to have been murdered uh, back in 2016, they found her body floating in the very water that we're at today. And her car has never been found. So we're highly suspect that her car is right out here somewhere. So we're gonna try and find it. The only problem with that is there are also about 30 cars at least dumped in this area. That's what we've been hearing. So essentially what we're doing is we're just gonna start scanning and we're gonna start searching these vehicles. We got the underwater drone, we got all our scuba gear. Water is clear enough. So this is gonna be a pretty good day to search. It is super hot though, so we're gonna have to deal with that. So let's start the day by getting the boat in the water and start searching. All right, so we got the boat on the water. We have already started searching, and right off the bat, I think we have found around eight vehicles. Check this out. Here's the sonar shots we're looking at. About 32 feet, we'll say 30 feet. Cars everywhere on this side of the boat ramp. You see that upside down one right there. There's a couple pickup trucks that should be coming up here shortly. I think that's a truck right there. Very. Yeah, yeah like that's, that's definitely a truck right there. Yes, there are vehicles all over the place right here, and then there's one on the other side of that boat ramp. That one's got me. I guess we should start there. Dude, that looks like a peachy cruiser. Might as well. Well, we could put a magnet on it right now. Yeah. So, so yeah, we got we got one hatchback looking thing on the other side of the boat ramp, and all these other vehicles that you're looking at are behind us on this way. And they could have been dumped off this when the tide's going that way, or there's an older boat ramp back there. They probably could have got dumped off too. But one vehicle on this side also if it is her it's right up the boat ramp so it's gonna be easy to pull out yeah but it's not i mean her car you know not her she she's been found that wasn't clear but who's to say what else is in this car man i don't you know i don't know um i will get it on the left side kind of is. I, think, I think you got it Dude, that was quick you got it Hell yeah. I'll just loosely tie that off to the boat and then we'll just, just let him run wild with the feet fish so we can figure out. Ready? Yep. Gosh, I'm getting frustrated, dude. Might as well dive down there. Hold on. Dude, it's right in front of us. The fish? Yeah. Dude, that's oh. a sturgeon, isn't it? Look at the ribs on the back. Yep. Holy. Why is it getting so close? Because it's curious about your drone, probably. Is that what that is, a sturgeon? Yeah, I'm stuck on something down there. Oh, my God. That's... Holy shit. Look at the size of that oh dude. Oh my man. gosh. Yeah, he's curious. Where about, is he? He just went back under the boat, but he was right behind us. He went straight, he went down that way. Oh, that thing was giant, dude. That's exactly what that thing is a giant sturgeon. Holy smokes. It hears the uh, drone down there, I think. Golly, that was, that was impressive. Can you eat those? You can eat anything if you want. <laughs> All right, so the deal is. We're pretty sure this is the car. We got to see the wheels and the color of it, but uh, the drone got snagged on something. So Adam is diving down into the darkness. He's gonna retrieve his drone and see if we can find a tag and anything else he can get on this car, open windows, stuff like that. You know, see what he can find. So we're not looking for the missing person. Just so you guys know, we're looking for the car because this is where she was found. There's actually a cross over there on the boat dock with her name on it. 
pretty crazy. And her car is sitting right here, I bet. So. <sighs> Probably can't tell anything, but the red PT Cruiser, no tag on it. Well, we got the VIN. Is it in there? Yeah. No tag though, man. And the front windows are down. So if the front two windows are down or smashed, the back ones are are up. There's four windows. That's four door. It looks like yeah, four, four door. door. Uh, red PT Cruiser. Pretty scummed up. It's been down there. I mean, it's definitely been down there since 2016. But I felt inside a little bit. I didn't feel anything off. But yeah, I was able to grab that. <clears throat> okay, so we have confirmed that the PT Cruiser is the one we were looking for. So we have that. So we're going to pass that information on to the detective, probably get this thing pulled out at some point. But while we're here, there's also a pile of vehicles out here. So we figure we got time. We're going to dive on the rest of these vehicles. Adam's going to suit up again. And right below us, there's a pickup truck. And... Uh, I'm going to tie the magnet off. We already got it marked and suit up and go see if there's a tag on this one.
I saw Chevrolet. It looks like a, it looked like an older kind of Chevrolet logo. It says on the back. I want to go. I want to expire. Nineteen. I ain't been down that long. What do we got? Well, What's the number? NCQ three three three. Huh. Uh, all the windows are up. Spooky. A little weird. We've seen it happen, but usually they roll the windows down when they dump truck vehicles. All right, so that second vehicle he just dove on was a Chevy pickup truck. He thinks older, but the tag expired at 19. Couldn't find anything online. So uh, we're going to keep going. we got lots more cars to clear, and Adam is super motivated to keep diving, so we're just going to keep going. <laughs> 